Hello, I'm Wayne Berry, and here are eight things you need to know about the psychology of colour in marketing and branding. You know, understanding the psychology of colour is essential when you're establishing a business profile. This is important if you're in sales or marketing or in business for yourself. Colours not only enhance the appeal of a design, but actually affects our brain as well, even our emotions. And sales and marketing professionals understand this and use colours to create the emotional responses they desire. The strategic use of colours is a very valuable tool to get the best response from your marketing and promotional efforts. And your choice of colour sends a specific message to your target audience when you're using it in a brochure or on your website, on your company's logo or on your business card, letterhead, email, your billboard advertising, you know, even the clothes that you wear. And there's been a lot of scientific research done on this subject and I'm not going to bore you right now with all of the details here in the limited time that we have available. Just give you the results of the research. So, how do we use colours to influence people? Well, red. Red is associated with passion, energy and strength. It's emotionally an intense colour which calls for action to be taken. Blue. Blue is a soothing colour that promotes peace, tranquility and reliability. It's one of the safest colours to use and it's used by conservative brands due to its message of trust and honesty. Yellow. Yellow is an uplifting colour which stimulates the logical side of our brain. It's a cheerful colour that promotes optimism, playfulness and creativity. Green. Well, green is the colour of nature, of course, and it symbolises growth, serenity and healing. It's the colour of safety that brings a sense of peace and balance to our viewers. Purple. Well, purple implies royalty, quality and extravagance. It's often associated with femininity and spirituality and is often used in businesses in the, use in the cosmetic industry. Brown. Now, brown is a solid, reliable colour. It gives people the feeling of security, comfort and homeliness. White. Well, white is pure, youthful and mild. It's often used to suggest simplicity in high-tech products like Apple. White also promotes cleanliness, which is often associated with clinics and medical centres. Black. Well, black is a powerful colour, a colour of authority which can be scary and intimidating. And it's often used by high-end clothing brands and car manufacturers like BMW, Mercedes-Benz and Porsche. Now, although we have certain preferences when it comes to colour, it's important to use the right colours that will grab the attention of consumers and our prospects in the right way. If you're designing visual marketing tools, I'd suggest get professional advice from a graphic designer who really understands the psychology of colour. You may have to search, by the way, to find someone who truly does understand. And now, in this video, you have the answers to a very simple test you could use to determine if the person you're speaking to really does understand the psychology of colour. By the way, as I mentioned before, the same can be said for the colours that we choose to wear in our clothing for business and in our personal life. Our choice of colours and the styles has such an enormous impact on the people that we meet and communicate with in all areas of our life. Seeking the advice of a qualified, trained image consultant is well worth considering and will prevent you from making costly errors when choosing your business and personal wardrobe. Colours and style add power to your personal presentation and say so much about you even before you open your mouth. So there you have it, the eight things that you need to know about the psychology of colour in selling, marketing and branding, and you know, even personal branding. I hope you can use them. Have a great day, make it a great day. Bye for now.